Welcome to the Empire of Rampant, and welcome back to my Dimity Devise and God campaign for the Divine Conquer version 5 mod from Evil 2. We're going to continue with it from last time, where at this point in time, both the Dunedine and Air Lewin are almost dead. Um, we did have a big fight that we tried to do uh, around the city and sadly failed it, but did a good amount of damage, and I have other armies that are making their way over here. I'm going to have to start recruiting a bit more as well to keep sending up this way. I know basically what I'll do is I'll probably just send the men that were beat up, and I'll just put you guys into the city to be retrained. Because this army can pretty much move out next turn. If I do this, if I grab this guy, then they have a full stack army. So you guys are doing that. I do have a fight over here, but... Given the fight we just had, I'm gonna wait because I have some more reinforcements we can make over this uh, move up this way. So we'll hold off on those guys. And I know right now, yeah, you're going to go Bedrain. You'll be there in about two turns, so you can keep trying to make your way over here. And then I know, where did they go? Fornasaran, you guys are still trying to recruit some more stuff around here. Here they are, because you guys, I'm trying to bring up towards. Let's see. We should probably focus just all the attention on to Arid Moon right now. So let's send you guys up towards Gobadrain and everything like that. Don't go near the city, though. Uh, try and go more over this way. Because basically, we'll ignore the Dunedain for the most part right now. Because they only have a couple cities left. And I would probably want to make sure that we focus all of the attention onto Arid Luin. Just so we can make sure and guarantee that one of them dies today. And then next video, we can get the other one. Because at the moment, things are going well over here. Uh, I know you guys will be able to move out of here next turn as well. I don't think we have anything else to do over here for right now. I know like you guys are still trying to keep your training around here. Yeah, there we go. So you guys can keep your training there. And then I'm not able to get over there until next turn. Yeah. Because right now, things are going well. We just had a couple bad fights. Uh, due to the fact that I would try to trust the autos off with some of them. And others, I just tried to see, hey... I think we have enough men, but their unit quality is better than ours. Uh, but that should be fine. We're mass-producing troops around here. I'm going to go around and get some more guys to keep sending on up, because basically we just need to get some more reinforcements down here. More reinforcements up here, because I know I gain all tan. I think you can still keep pushing into the Dune I'll have you keep doing that. So like you can go back to more of a Tarth. Try and go around this way, just so you don't piss them off. So like try and go around over here. I can have you go for more of the Tarth, so you can keep pushing into the Dune but most of my attention is on Air Luna at the moment. Alrighty, so they are going to try and attack this area. One Ballista, I might be able to defend this. Because if I can get rid of that Ballista, hold the walls, might be able to hold this. I do have reinforcements. So, let's see if we can just delay them here. Because the more I can delay, and also the more I can slowly whittle down the forces of the Dunedain, the easier it will be for me to finish them off. Because I'm hoping that today we'll focus only on the uh, on forces of Erdlun, basically, and see if we can take them out. Because I should be able to take that other that city that they we tried to attack uh, ne next turn. Then I think I'm right next up to Barcelona the turn after. So let's get you guys first off the walls. Uh, they do have. Mm... <laughs> yep. So what we'll do is you up on the walls here, you guys up on the walls just to turn towers on. And then Ballistas, you'll be chilling in the city center, back around here. And then I'll have this other unit. You'll try and run up, kill their Ballista. And then if you can do that, we've got these two other units that can make their way on, three other units, that can make their way on into the city to help out. And hopefully that will be enough. Because if you guys can get on over here, rushing over as soon as you can. So you need to make your way into the city center. You need to run over here as well. Because with these additional units, that might be enough. You just need to make sure... Oh, they're going to drop their ladders because of this, possibly. Yeah, because I need you to hit that ballista. Get in the melee with the ballista. You're not in melee with the ballista now. It's not what we needed. So now, I don't know what they're going to do. They might pick something back up, or the ram might force its way for it through. Matt Ram's going to force its way through. Okay, so what we'll have to do is you need to get down off the ground. Get to the gate, because they're not going to use their siege tower or ladders anymore. It's just going to be the ram. So we need to then try and have it so specifically, we need to try and hold this spot right here. So try and get these guys over here as soon as you possibly can. Ballistas, we still have a decent chance here. Because if you guys can get up here and get into an angle to be able to shoot into the gates, we might still be able to do some pretty good damage. Because here they come, forcing their way in. These guys barely got here just in time. Uh, Ballistas, if you guys can somehow try and fire into this spot, you'll have to adjust... Number-wise, not the worst so far. 15% of their forces are dead so far. If we can hold the gates, and I can actually get some shots in here, that'll be perfect. So yeah, keep trying to fire in there. Come on, guys. Come on. 
These bosses have to do something. Let's see, if I bring you, like, right here and here, you guys might be able to get an angle if you move. Come on, guys. Only half our force remains. I need you to move over here. There you go. Keep pushing forward. They've lost a third of their army so far. The other ballista is almost here. So we've got one of them almost here. Go to like right about there. Right about there. Ah, uh, this side's actually kind of open too. Let's try not to do this. You go this way. You'll be the one that just stays around here since you're already almost here. If you can go get uh, some shots into this area. Uh, although all my infantry is breaking now. Now, that's about it, because, like, yeah, now they're getting up onto the walls. Kill a third of their army, though. With what we had in this area, I think that's actually pretty decent. It's going to delay them a little bit longer, or at least whittle them down a little bit a lot more. And honestly, if they want to bring some more troops over here and uh, try and garrison up this a bit more, I can try and have Ganel Tan make his way over here and try and see if he can uh, keep whittling down the forces of Dunedin. Yeah, with my seven guys, I'm not going to be able to reel to set uh, the timer, sadly. But hey, 600 casualties for them is not bad. Uh, if we would have had, uh, if we would have get them onto the ladders, I think we'd be able to hold that. But hey, did some good damage. Now we'll just keep throwing more men at the problem. Again, I'll, I'll have him be the one leading the assault onto the forces of the Dunedain for right now, while we have everybody else focus their attention on Eridluin. Because once we start hitting Eridluin, they don't have, like, let's see, so two of their territories I know have very low defenses. Those would be really easy to take. We did some really good damage around the other one. Let's say five territories right now. One territory I know we can take uh, next turn, as long as they don't move their troops, because we have more men now. Wow. One we're going to want to siege a little bit. Go Badrain and... Um, oh, fuck, what's that one now? Is that Argond? I think that's Argond. Uh, those are really weak. Fornas Ran, you're sieging us here. That's fine. You guys technically do border me again there, so I'm not surprised. Uh, you have a decent enough garrison there. I think you guys will be okay. If anything, if anything at all, Attacking it continues camp. to whittle down your troops. So we know about that one siege. So Athelon was sacked. Siege there. That should be fine. So at the moment right now, though, let's see. So you guys have plenty of guys there. More men that fighting. can move out of here. Because let's keep sending you guys up. So you grab more men here. And you can grab uh, three more men to put into this army specifically. Still need to remember to train you guys. Can't retrain those guys just yet. We can grab at least see, so these four. And then this army here. You'll keep making your way up. Uh, we should be able to hit Goba Drain this turn. Yes, we can. Uh, oh, Engsul. That's what it was. So you right there. And then I think we just need the one army. So you guys can take this. A little bit of damage. But hey, Goba Drain falls to us. Then we'll have it so that you'll be able to group up over here next turn. Then we can start trying to move out of here and go for Engsul. So let's get you guys to put that on the growth build policy. Don't need more spies over there. But we've got that. You guys are still sitting here. Let's see. This is a captain, though, actually. So if I do this... Oh, actually, I should have gone to the other side. You might back off still. Oh, wrong button. Me just versus just you. I think that'll be fine. Let's do that fight in just a second. So for right now, first, let me take you out of here. Put you guys into this city. You guys can then start trying to retrain yourselves around here. And then I'll have it so that these guys as well go on in there. So just trying to train all those troops. And they've just put all their men into the city. Okay, so what we'll do, I think I can just let you start sieging this on your own. Just let you start starving that out. And then I will have these other armies try and make their way up. And we'll start trying to go towards Garth Helogoth. That way... We can try and have it so we're going to focus most of our attention onto the areas that actually have more men. So let's go over here. You go back in here. I'll throw you in the Thorns Hall so you can be retrained over there. We got you. Three. I'll make your way over here. Start trying to starve that area out. This one will be for 11 turns. I'll probably have another army make their way over there to help them out at some point. But for right now, we'll just focus on starving it. So like we can have these guys kind of make your way up this way as well. And then uh, I have some extra guys around here as well that I can join in up to help out around here too. So you go there and there. Forlawns. I can start kind of getting some stuff around here a little bit. 
So you can start getting a little bit more there for us. Then, you guys are all good there, good there. I have this fight I want to try and do against that one army. You guys took this, which we can have these three actually go over here. There, there, and then there. You guys go that way. Ganaltan, I'm going to have you also make your way over there too. So basically you'll like lead these guys and focus on dealing with the Dunedain. So you can do that. Back over here. Should be able to just take this area pretty easily with you guys. And then we can keep pushing forward into more territory of yours. Are you guys at war now? Come on, I want you guys to be at war with each other. Ah! Nope. Okay. Zagar, though. Should be able to easily take this. Let's see, 10 of 3 should be fought. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Auto Resolve just fucking hates me. Yeah, so we'll have to go regroup you now. Merge his men together, merge his men together. Zagar, you'll regroup. I'll have to get you some reinforcements now. I thought it should be fine. Uh, now I keep building this stuff up around here so we can keep getting some more recruits around here. That's the whole point of this. Back down here. So we need to regroup. No here. Group here. No Let's group here. up what men we can. Merge them all together. And then we'll probably want to start focusing a little bit more. They're seeing more men down this way now. Which I think is interesting. I want to take that territory, but they are seeing more armies down this way. I almost wonder if maybe I should, instead of trying to strike this territory, specifically go over here so I can make sure that like these areas are no longer having to be defended. That would not be the worst idea, possibly. Because they're going to keep gathering their troops over around here. Military-wise... The military has been dropping. I want. I need to somehow convince you guys to join this war. I wonder. Let's see. I'm going to make the demand of you attacking Dornwinian. I will offer you... Let's give you a ton of money. Let's give you 100 fucking K. Still very demanding. I just want you guys to fight them. Yeah, no. So for right now, at least, we'll just group my men together. Uh, let me just see. Let me merge these guys together myself. Okay, there we go. So it is currently now a full stack army. That is all we had left from over here. Uh, do I have any excess men over here that I was going to be able to move out? No, not at the moment. We basically had all those guys moving forward. But yeah, no. So we have at least these troops for right now. Could try and start sieging this out. I'm just worried because I actually have Sodom on here. So I think what we'll do... I, I do think I'm going to try and maybe go and strike at specific territories. Because they seem to be gathering more men around here. So let's grab you guys. I'll send you up this way. And I think we should go try and hit this territory. Because it seems like they're bringing more men over here because I've been attacking them. And so I think we should try and de redirect them. If we possibly can. If anything at all, I still will try and grab troops around here. I still want to just focus on the northern sections first. Focus up here first, then it'll be easier to focus all of our attention around down here. Uh, but now, let's go back over to this fight here. Because with, yeah, with the Witch King... Nope, not wrong person again. I'm trying to have you attack the captain here. And then I'll have it so let's just fight you guys. A lot of infantry in this army from what I saw. This army should not be that bad. It's led by a captain, so we should be able to break them. Then we can just have it so we will start starving out the areas around here. And basically, that will be the end of Ered Lewin, if we get enough time, basically. So, stretch deployment. Got a lot of crossbows. Let's see. Crossbows. Pick us up. Two other pieces, then infantry. Infantry is a little going to be a little bit of a struggle here. Let's get you guys to move forward. And then it looks like they're actually going to be kind of... Are they going to advance on us, or are they going to back off? If they advance on us, I'm not going to really move. I actually have more crossbows than I remember them, so they have quite a few of them. I'm trying to move my army a little bit closer right now. If I can get you guys in range, I'm going to start trying to have my skirmishers and my artillery pieces open up onto their forces here. I can almost hit some of you guys. So I need to start trying to focus on you. The Jones bodyguard is back here. He's this pike unit. I'll definitely want to be waiting until I get any sort of big blobs with their infantry, and then we'll start using the Witch King to try and take those guys out. For right now, I'm just trying to see if I can get in range to be able to hit you guys. 
So yeah, they're just kind of going about. They're not making up their minds on where they're sitting. So I'm okay with that. Because it gives me time. They're currently got the high ground advantage, which I don't appreciate. But as soon as I can start hitting you guys... Yeah, like my artillery pieces here can... Yeah, start focusing them down. Okay. Now I'll have it so that my artillery pieces, you guys can open fire. I'll start moving my infantry up a little bit closer so that my uh, skirmishers can fire. But yeah, you guys start opening fire there. You guys do not have enough range just yet. Get a little closer. Right about there. And then keep moving forward. Because so far at the moment... Yeah, there we go. In position. Form up. Hold up. And then crossbows. I'm going to have... Let's see. Some of you can fire into them. But not all of you can. So... Oh, at the moment you're on this side. That's why. Yeah, focus over here. You try and focus over here. Try and focus over here. Try and have multiple of you focus on their crossbows at a time. And then I'll try and have it so... Right there. At the moment, I'm going to have some of you, like these guys, just run back and specifically just focus on getting into melee with those skirmishers. Because if we can get into melee with them, they will start winning. We want to take advantage of our skirmishers. So we want to try and distract theirs. Just like you, kind of go run over here. I'm going to get you to move forward because I think he was a pikeman. He's around here somewhere. But basically, I'll start bringing the... Which king? Right here. You're just going to start throwing stuff at them. Then you guys distract their skirmishers back here, so just not as many of them are firing. But basically, you guys are right here. You're focused on crossbows. You're right here. Focus on this crossbow. And then we can just have it so that once we're, they're done with their crossbows, we just focus all my ammo onto their infantry units. So there we go. So you... Start trying to hit these long beard souls, but trying to get some damage in there. Save that shot. Want to get the biggest blobs I see. And then this is the general. Yep, that's the captain right there. Actually, crossbows if you want to. Focus him. I'm gonna get the witch king. Trying to get you to go hit this spot next. Yeah, those tomb protectors right there. Because this area we hit nicely. 28% are dead. Hit this blob next. Crossbows, I'm going to have you start focusing on the general's bodyguard, or the captain. Because once he's dead, then ideally, they'll start breaking. And he's just a pike unit, so he's really easy to just focus down with my crossbows. Which king is almost done. Once he's out of ammo, I'll probably have him go help kill crossbows. Let's see, so you guys also focus over here. I'm going to have him help out against these crossbows. Or actually, no, these ones. These guys aren't in melee just yet. Yeah, general's bodyguard... Number-wise, half their army is dead so far. Pikemen are almost out of the picture. Witch King of Angmar can do some pretty good damage in melee there against the skirmishers. So now they have no skirmishers in uh, that are firing. We need to get over here. Let's see, he's down to 23. Careful with that shot there. Please do not aim your stuff at the Witch King of Angmar, please. I need you to not do that. I know you're just throwing corpses right now, but still. It, it matters. 60%. Trying to see if I can stun them. Or cause any of them to rout. None of them are routing, sadly. Not exactly what we want to see. Yeah, those failing students are almost dead. He's down to 7 units. I would say you guys probably switch your attention over here. Oh, we did stun some guys over here. Yeah, hit those guard units over on this side. Try and hit them. You're done with units over there. Go help out the uh, forces of the Witch King. Since you're almost dead. Yeah, they're, they're really low. Uh, there goes the enemy general. So now I think if we try and scream again, they might break. Yeah, because some of them are starting to rout. So let's go group up over here. Try and get that phalanx unit in the back there if you can. Skirmishers now. Focus on this blob over here. If you have to move, don't move, and just shoot whoever you can. So you guys stop moving. Just open fire. I might have to adjust you guys. Like, have some of you... Yeah, it's mainly the central spot here. So let's take, like, half of you guys over here. The other half over here. Try and flank them. They are starting to wait a route, though. So it's not that bad. I almost have this ability back again. Um... 
My Berserkers are my fastest units. And I do not have any of them that are available to start trying to run people down. Yeah, because let's get you guys to focus over here into that unit. I'll have, uh... No, you guys need to fight. So you need to get over here. Start trying to surround this unit. So go right, right there. And then you guys basically just, uh... Just fire well. Fire well at anybody you can get an angle at over here. And then these guys... It's, it's just the protectors who do have on the minimum realm. Which is not exactly what we want, but hey, it's what we've got to deal with. So just get on into melee. We have enough men that we think we should be okay. Lost a third of my army so far. You guys, let's get you guys to group up just a little bit closer. I think it's just this little blob in over here as well. But hey, that'll make it so that this army's going to be dead. Now we'll be able to just freely start trying to siege this area. We'll start trying to starve this out. And then for the most part, we almost have every single territory that the dwarves of Erdluin control will be starving out. So we'll just whittle them down until they have basically nothing in their cities. And then in the meantime... Uh, we could actually try and focus on to the forces of the Dunedain while we're starving out Ered Lewin. Because if they don't have any men that can stop our sieges, then it's just a matter of time until Ered Lewin dies. I'd hope we can get maybe through enough uh, turn ends that we can destroy those guys. Uh, is one of you guys attacking my... Yes, one of you is attacking my artillery pieces, so run away. There we go. Much better. See, those are the kind of fights we need against the dwarves. It kind of helps when a Nazgul can take out um, about a third of the enemy army of dwarves on his own. <laughs> so beautiful. So now we'll start starving them out uh, around this city. Angsul, we're going to be pushing towards basically next turn. And then for the most part, like, honestly, I think we're just going to be starving out Erluin. They are in their holds. We can assault them whenever we want to, but uh, hey, we've seen how strong the dwarves are, and I want to make sure they die. So that means starve them out. We have the time. We have uh, to just keep kind of gathering troops around anyways, because I want to make sure we have, like, when we finish Ered Lewin and the Dune time, that is, like, the end game of this campaign. That's kind of my plan. That's my hope. Because I, I know we need to start figuring out what camp I'm going to be uh, replacing this one with at some point. And I feel like that's going to be like the best time to kind of start figuring out. Because like, hey, you guys, you'll start teaching that next turn. Um, I probably should have like one of these armies. I'll have like maybe you help out here too. Just in case like if someone attacks like you, they'll probably push us back. So we can have two armies for each city here. Uh, this guy, Angsul, can fall pretty easily with what we've got around over here. And then that's it. Like, literally. Uh, can I move some of you guys out? Yeah, so let's do this. I'm going to have you be the ones that make your way over here to watch over the city so that this entire force, this entire force, can go to Ang Sul, take that. I've got these men making their way over to Athelin right now. And I know you guys are just, just kind of chilling a little bit to kind of build these armies up and try and retrain what we can. I'm not going to build recruit anything around here right now, at the moment at least. But that's all we need you guys for. Uh, these guys can keep trying to recruit some more stuff around here as well, though. Keep grabbing them more. And then, how many turns? Five turns until they die here. And I'm just going to starve them out. Like, I see no reason not to. And we can just keep gathering more forces. Like, hey, buying time and just making sure that the only area we're being attacked by Lothlorien is around here. It's absolutely perfect for me. So I'm okay with that. Let's see. Another general's bodyguard. I'll accept you. Currently, he is over down here. I'm going to have you. Mythlon's riding. Ah... Uh... Is there anything I can do to stop that? I've got all that. Um, yeah, we're going to get a lot from that. Uh, actually, let me do this. That's better. Uh, you should probably get this. Repair all this stuff. And then start this construction. I should just start that now. You move that back. Let's see, do this. There we go. Repair all that stuff. Start getting this built up so we have more law bonus around there. There we go. So do that. I thought you guys would be converting fast enough that you'd be fine, but no, they're still pretty pissed off. I'll convey that. Just bring those guys over there. <sighs> Currently siege at Oshul. Oh, that we don't like. But, Ganotan is here, so I will probably... Let's see. 
You guys want to assault this city? Go ahead. Uh, Ganotan's right fucking here, because I can't hit you this turn. Uh, I've got these guys also around here as well, so like, if you want to fight me, you can, but I, I think that's ill advised, guys. Let's see, so that's all repaired there. And then for the most part, again, I'm going to try and have it so that for right now... Yeah, they're gathering more men around Amugan, so we're going to ignore that city for right now. Let's just keep making my way up around this way. So we'll go with city for what cities we know we can hit, and we'll just grab all these forces with us. So all of you guys make my way up here. We're going to try and see if we can hit this territory. Because so we want to just try and take what territories we can. I need to make sure I keep remembering to bring Zagar. It's being over this way. I'm going to grab these men, merge them together, keep making your way back over here. You'll have to get some replenishment, which I will be able to do around here, hopefully. And then I'll just start moving you guys out later. So you guys can keep doing that. Uh, then I should be able to, now if we go back here, I can't have Gobadr uh, Angsel this turn, but I can send you guys out. You join on in. You help watch the city here. You'll be the one that stays there. Then uh, you guys are just sieging them out over here. Like, Angmar, just stay around here. Which game, Angmar, just stay there. Uh, oof. I'm tempted, but no, I'm not going to take the risk of trying to lure those guys out. I know I could, but I'm not going to risk it. I sh probably should maybe try and hit that little army, though, that's outside, though. So I'll try and have you hit this guy. You'll be able to do that two turns. But I'll have you stay here until this army is fully destroyed. And in the meantime, I just have to keep making sure that you guys keep retraining around here. And as soon as they're happy, I can then move them back out. So just keep your training. You'll push out later. Do that for right now. And then, Traith, need to keep checking on you every once in a while, because you're the main area that I'm gathering a lot of my troops for. So keep making it right up here. Get ready for fighting. I also want to make you move over this way. Yeah, just because I see that army of the Dunedain. And again, at the moment right now, I'm pretty much sieging all of the territories that they control. So if I can just starve out Erdogan, all of my other forces that I have available can make their way over and push on into dealing with the forces of the uh, Dunedain. Oh yeah, they actually stopped uh, sieging over here. That's the best idea that you should have had today. So for right now, keep grabbing more men around there. You guys... Yeah, he's backing up. Oh, that's the High King. Ooh. I actually group you guys up. Let's do this. I want to go for Athelin. But also, I think let's do this for right now. Is let's group you guys up with the forces of Ganeltan. So then all of you, together, following Ganeltan, can push forward. Make your way up into the Dunedain territories. Kind of wish they would still try and hit uh, Mount Graham. But sadly, they're not trying to do that right now. Let's see another Jones bodyguard. Uh, you are over here again still. Take settlement and Sul, gladly. Uh, but no, I'm still just gathering more men around over here right now. Let's get back to you guys. Because yeah, I've got a decent amount of men over there, so for right now, we'll ignore that city. Keep trying to just gather together and regroup, and hopefully have it so we can push the front forward on our side. Because I still don't mind doing defenses against them, but if we can just localize it in, instead of them focusing on two territories, they focus on one. That'll just make it better for us. So, like, you guys just keep making sure that these areas are retrained. Death stocks of land. And then for the most part right now... Yeah, good. You guys are still happy over here in Mithlon. I was a little worried about that. Yeah, no. Mithlon's doing better now. You guys just need to convert that more. I keep trying to send these guys up here, though. And at the moment now, it is literally just us. I don't know where the other army went, but I'm just going to ignore them for right now. But no, we're just sieging out, sieging out, sieging out. Uh, we can hit Ang Sul literally this turn. So, right there, and right there. And is this just led by a captain? Uh, should be okay. It's 5 to 1. Okay, god, that's a lot of damage. Okay, now, all that's left. Uh, literally just mur murdered those guys. Okay, well, repair that stuff. Start then trying to convert around here. Build growth build policy. And then let's merge you together here. So... There's just, so in, let's see, seven turns? Ten turns? So in ten turns, the forces of Adluin will be destroyed. So in the meantime, I'm going to have it, so what we'll do is... <laughs> that was the right idea. He fucking ran like a bit. His, his army ran, he did not. That's a bad idea, man. I'm now going to, like, I, I'm going to fight this myself to guarantee he dies. But gain all ten now. So for ten turns... We're just going to starve out Erdogan. They're dead. That That is guaranteed now at this point in time. 
So in the meantime, let's gather all of my other forces around Ganel Tan, and we're going to push into the uh, into the Dunedai now at this point in time. Basically, this fight is just here. Oh my god, I didn't realize. <laughs> I now realize the army I have here. Oh god. Yeah, Ganel Tan with four other Nazgul units in his army. Oh god. What the hell is this? You guys try and get in range. Come on, come on, come on. Kill him. Yeah, shoot the other units. Don't shoot Don't shoot the Nazgul that are going to delete you instantly. Fucking love this. There you go, guys. Start opening up. Only half the enemy force oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that army made the right decision. That army absolutely made the right decision. Yeah, no, if, if I lead the attack into the Dunedain with Ganeltan with this army... And just a bunch of troops that start gathering around me. Oh, oh, we're, we're destroying them both today, if I possibly can. As if it takes me about ten turns to destroy the forces of uh, the Dunedain, it'll line up perfectly with me destroying the forces of Erdogan. Which I hope so. And then in the meantime, it looks like, for right now, our stuff over in the east is going to kind of be on the back burner for now. Uh, just because we took too much damage. We have to rebuild our forces and uh, start the counterattack again later. But yeah, that guy's now dead. Now we can just have it so that what we're going to do is, again, all of these men... I almost want to fight this army just because... Because if I can just whittle down their forces, it'll make it easier to take them out. Because if I go... We'll see if he fights us or if he's just going to run. So if you go there, you go there, you go there. Uh, you go there. And then Ganatan... He's probably going to run. Oh, he ran, but... Ah, oh, he's just far enough away. As I don't want to do... I don't want to do the fighting with anybody besides Ganeltan. So, I'm going to hold off on that. You guys should start trying to get some more men around here, though, to kind of help out around this area. And then, for the most part, these guys will be the start. We'll go towards uh, Athlon first. And then, basically, anytime I can get some more men to try to join the front, I will gladly send them over. Because we don't have to do anything with Erdogan now. Now it's just needing to send these armies up forward to join us. So, like, you guys go there. Grab all these guys and grab a couple more. Like, uh, this. That's another army. Just group up. Keep following us. Because the more of these forces I can get ready, the better. Because I'm gonna need a lot of them anyways. Uh, these guys are actually safe. I don't need to have this big-ass garrison around here anymore. And neither do I have to have it here as well. So you can make your way out. You can start making your way over this way as well. Um, for Nasaran, we still have to for now, at the moment at least. because Just because it does border a territory. So hold off on that. But for the most part, I can bring these guys over as well. So you do that. And then I need to see. So it's... Can I get another boat, maybe? I'm hoping there's some more mercenaries around here. Because I'm actually, like, by the time he gets back over here, I'll have retrained a good chunk of these guys. So, at the moment right now, let me take out the guys. And again, I can't retrain my wargs here. You need to remember that. So, the units that I know... Let's see. So, these guys... Let's see. Basically, grab everybody else that's already done retraining. Pull them out of the city so we know what is ready and what is not. And then you can retrain more stuff here. There we go. And then you got wargs. Just merge them together because they can't be retrained. So do that. And then you'll be ready here soon. So you'll be able to make your way back up there. And then it's just going to be like trying to gather more troops around uh, 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 Saruman again, basically. Alright, let's see. So currently being sieged back here again. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I do have another army here. So basically whenever I get a full stack force here, you guys will just be grouping up. Trying to regroup with the forces of Saruman. So we've got one at least right now. Actually two here. So you two group up. Once you two are together, you can start pushing forward closer to Saruman. So keep gathering those guys there. I need to keep moving you guys back. Yeah, because they've got a decent amount of men there. Not a ton. But more than what I would want to deal with right now with the forces I currently have for Saruman. So we'll keep pulling you guys back here. There, 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 and there. And then... Uh, Zagar should be able to get back onto... Let's see. Is there a boat around here? Please tell me there's maybe another boat around here. No. Okay. So it's going to take us a little bit longer then. We have to make our way back over this way then. So do that. 
And then the siege we have right now, that's fine. That's an area we've defended a lot, so I think we'll be good there. Now we just need to make my way back over here and keep pushing with Ganeltan. I do still kind of want to kill this army. Since he's probably going to run again. Let's kill this army before we leave. If I bring everybody in to bear here. You, you, you. I must have all of you guys. Is there anybody else I can get in range? No, it's just those. Okay, so we'll fight this battle. I think this should be pretty quick, honestly. Given the fact that we have all these armies. And I just don't want to do the auto-resolve because that will make it so we take more damage on these guys specifically. So, we'll attack this ourselves. Bring all my allies on in here. And with all of my Nazai, this army should be deleted pretty quickly. Then we can turn around, start focusing on to the Dunedain territory now. Because we're just going to keep sending all of our troops over this way. Because they only have a couple territories, so it shouldn't take us that long to get rid of them. Especially if I have Ganeltan leading here. Could possibly bring over the forces of uh, the um, Witch King as well, possibly. Let's see, you guys up there. And then you guys... We'll have you guys, uh, strip deployment. You guys kind of just group up here. Crossbows are fine as they are, and then I'll have all the Nazgul basically group up back here. So they're going to make their way over to us if they want to. Nope, they're going to pull back our way immediately. That's fine. I will regroup with my forces before we advance. I do see that some of the skirmishers of the enemy army are trying to go after my allies. I'm going to have them meet some trolls. So the trolls are rushing over here, just them. And then basically at this point in time, yeah, you guys have got the high ground there. Kind of move everybody else a little bit more over this way. It's like you guys can make your way over here. Basically, we're just waiting for my allies to group up. Because once they get over here, if I see any blobs, essentially reinforcements, you guys swarm blobs, my Nazgul will kill everybody. Because that's basically what we do here. They've already lost 3% uh, of their army, which is actually pretty good off to the start already. But yeah, no, like I'll have my war, my guys make their way over here. So you're going to be trying to make your way over here with the trolls. Basically just trying to support my allies, make sure they're not being idiots with my archers, please. My skirmishers, please. And I also do see some of their range of the cav units here. So make your way on in, guys. Everyone else, let's see. So you're almost here. I can tell you to be aggressive since you're almost right next to me. This army is still a bit away, so I'll have you hold off. For right now, trolls almost over here. And yeah, try and hit that royal guard unit there. Okay, I really do need to do a campaign with these guys and do the reunited kingdom script with them at some point. I need to do that again since uh, there's the expanded unit roster mod and everything like that. Let's see, so they're getting melee with my crossbows. I do not like that. So yeah, trolls specifically go over here, help this spot specifically. Number wise, I've lost 8% of the forces already. There you go. Yeah, charge it in. See if you guys can help out against the cav there. There you go. Yeah, fuck up those cav units. More of their cav is making their way over here. But yeah, no, you guys are the fastest units that I've got. And the toughest, so you guys making your way over here should really help out. Crossbows. Some of you can start firing. Yeah, they've got some riders back here. That's what they're doing with them. Uh, you all... Yeah, you have scrimmage mode off. Or firewall off, I mean. That's what we want. Yeah, you guys are good over there. I do want to get over there if I possibly can. Alright, 18% of the forces are now dead, though. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, they're starting to send more of the men over here. I'm going to start trying to, again, if I focus on any individual unit with my uh, Nazhai, you guys are going to just start being deleted. So, please do. So, start deleting these guys. Start just unloading into them, killing these guys off. Hit those Blade Masters. I'd like it for bigger blobs before we start throwing things. But these are good enough units that you guys should be able to do some pretty good damage in melee as well. I prefer, if I can, try and keep you out of melee. Uh, I do think I'm going to try and scream, though. See so if you guys can do that. Number-wise, oh, 44. Holy shit, I was not paying attention. We're from 18 to 44 almost instantly. Yeah, because like this section's already almost dead. Trolls, there goes the enemy general. Yeah, enemy captain's now dead there. Get out of there and help out against those Arthodine knights. Yeah, you guys start hitting those armsmen and everything. Next time I have my screen back, I think they might just start routing. Yeah, those guys are routing there. Only half the enemy Beautiful. Yeah, infantry. I'm just going to give you guys AI commands at this point. Like, this army should start just routing en masse. Now at this point, yeah, 57% are already dead. I'll try and see if I can hit anybody back over here, because there's still a couple blobs back there. Crossbows keep doing your thing. And then I'll just move my guys up a little bit more. 
Because yeah, there's blobs over here. Some of them are routing. Not all of them are. Yeah, everybody should be on the offensive now at this point in time. I have no cav in this army. That's like the one problem. This army has a good amount of infantry, and we've got all of my Nazhai in here. But uh, I have no cav whatsoever to try and run people down. So I have to rely on my allies to do that. Yeah, it's already up to 71%. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. Yeah, decent amount of damage there. Love it. Didn't take that much. It was only this army that really took anything. That was the one that was the closest to them. But no, there we go. And if we can just keep this up, keep this momentum, where Ganeltan barely takes any damage on his army and helps really make sure we inflict as much damage as possible, we're beelining into the Dunedain. Because it's just their main, it's just their capital that's the really big issue. Everything else is not that bad. So if we can take their capital, we can easily finish them off. Because I'm hoping that we can just get a bunch of turns through, starve out Erdun. I don't think we'll, Erdun might not die today, possibly. Just because we have to starve them out for so long. But once they're dead, hey, there we go. I think it's basically going to be like maybe this episode or next episode is when we finish them off. I think this campaign's going to honestly finish up around the same time as like my mortar campaign finished up. Okay, now, you guys are now dead there. Now let's keep making my way up. So first we have to go make my way up towards Athlon. So I'll start making my way up here. I'll start making my way over towards Athlon first. That'll be the first target here because we're just grabbing all of these armies together. And I seem to keep sending you guys forward right now. So anytime I can get more of you guys grouped up, I will keep sending them forward. Let's see. Take more of a tarth. Well, I'm already trying to make my way over there, so I'll gladly do that. Let's see. Dale is now also now attacking me. So they've actually now decided to start this fight with us now properly. Which does mean, hey, I can now have uh, try and push uh, the forces of Zagar into you guys now. Still trying to have it so that Zagar is still trying to make his way back over here. So he'll basically have to push them back. But that should be fine. Other uh, than that right now. Recruitment over there. We're about to take Kazadoom East back again in one more turn. Yeah, one more turn. They'll just give up. And then I've just been able to... Yeah, it takes so long to recede this area. I can literally just build up an entire full stack other army to then watch over this territory, basically. So we can just keep doing that as a, a way to buy time against the, the forces of Lothorian. For right now, though, you guys keep making your way up here. Probably want to see if I can hit that one army. But yeah, you guys all keep gathering around. Let's go for Athlon first. Get all these guys over this way. So if we can hit that army, lure them out of the city. Athlon's mine. So keep making your way over there, guys. Money-wise, I'm losing money. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be good. I know for right now, I kind of want to move you guys out of here if I possibly can as well. I don't think I need to have you guys staying here anymore if I'm going to be going on the offense against Athlon. So you keep moving up this way as well. This army needs to keep grouping up here too. And then I just had another army gather yeah, around the Vale. So you guys... So we've got you guys. Let's see. Well, how much of another army do I have here? So we'll grab these guys. All of you up. And then go past Tharbad. Grab what, three more guys there. And you've got no marks of slots. So we'll grab all of these guys. Just keep beelining up this way. We've got every able-bodied Uruk making their way forward. So we have to make sure we're using you guys and we're not getting complacent and letting you guys uh, sit around doing nothing. So there. That's right. Same deal. Keep making your way up here. Uh, Breeze got a little bit. I still haven't been able to train these guys just yet. So we don't have as much in Bree as I'd like. But you still have more. So keep saying those guys up. I just have it so that right now, um, the forces of Saruman, you're just trying to make your way down around here. These armies can now at least make their way over there as well. So to start trying to beeline, kind of gather around here essentially with them. So you guys just keep going around there, kind of gather around this spot. And then I can have you guys go north to that city. Because at the moment right now, um, let's see. You guys almost have another army here ready basically. There, there, there. Some of you are being idiots and going up and around for whatever reason. Don't know why. Group you up, move you forward. Got all this stuff. So we almost have a couple more armies over here ready. So you guys will be ready soon. I am losing money, but that should be okay. As long as, like, I'm about to start taking a kick. Kazdumi is about to fall to me. I'm pushing towards uh, Athlon right now. And again, 
Erdun's dead. Like, Erdun is dead, so like once these armies are able to move forward too, we'll be making uh, a lot more guys be uh, pushing into the front uh, against the Dunedain. I am kind of hoping that we can maybe kill the Dunedain today. I have to be to be either lucky or I just have to push really quickly. Alrighty, here they come once more around here. Let's see, decent amount of cavalry. We should be fine. Just need to use my wargs to get them off of their ram. And then this should be fine. With this fight actually going off around here, we're probably going to have to have it so that we wait until uh, next video, I think, to properly kill off Erdluin and Dale. I think they're going to die around the same time, honestly. Just because of how long it's going to take me to just siege out the territories. Like, Dale, like, not, not Dale. Uh, Erdluin and Dundun. It's probably both serpent tea. Because Erdogan, we know, is now guaranteed to be dead. Dunedain. We have the forces gathering. So it's almost there. Almost. You guys get off the walls. We just need to make sure that we get them off of their ram, basically. So they've got men. So it's over here, primarily, is where we have to put my forces up on the walls. It's so like right here. About here. And then I'll put more men over. Well, I'll have all my infantry over here. Because then the siege tower should be destroyed. It's like, that should be good for all of you guys. And then get my crossbows up on the walls just to turn the towers on. And that should get rid of all of the siege towers. So you guys there, you guys will not be needed. You'll just be chilling in the city center, basically. And then my wargs. I, I just need, I only need like one of you, really. Like I can just, just, just charge forward. You're the only one that really needs to do anything. Everybody else is fine. Because the siege towers will be destroyed uh, by the uh, bullet towers. So let's charge in there with one of my wargs. And pull back. Because yeah, like, those guys are making their way over there. Infantry should be holding fine. Let's pull you back. Because you guys just have too many cav units in this army. You can't effectively siege my city. Yeah, like one tower's already been destroyed. This one is destroyed around the same time. Now it's just the ladders they're trying on. There's some of them are already breaking. Oh, beautiful, guys. Thank you for this. There we go. It's a good amount of damage. Again, as long as you guys have too many cav units in your army and just a couple infantry units, it's really easy to defend these areas. And hey, soon I might be able to start having so we don't have to defend these areas. Because I'm making my way up. Saruman will, it'll take a Saruman a while. I think by the time that Saruman is done with Ered Lewin, I just saw my god, my god. By the time we are done with Erdluin, Saruman should be uh, gathering with those forces that I just recruited and I'm sending over this way. Because it's just the fact they have so many armies. Like, we're making headway, and I know the uh, us giving land over to the Adonai, it makes it so it's always faster for us to expand. I just wish they would help more. I wish I could convince them to attack these guys, and at the moment they just don't want to. I could do the whole, uh, th there is the diplomatic thing that lets you kind of force options. I could do that and just cancel the the, the tr uh, tribute from them so that, like, it's not them actually giving me money. Because I just wonder if I gave them enough money if they would be able to actually join on in. Now I need to get out of uh, Kazdoom East immediately with that army and it'll just put somebody else to watch over the city. All right, so first and foremost, let's go back over to Kazadoom before they start trying to move forces out. So what I want to do is take this army out. I want to try and yeah, do do that. So I'm still staying in the same spot. And then you guys go into Kazadoom East. Oh, can I not? No sleeping here. I don't want you to be the ones... Get ready for fighting. You can't go there either. I'll just have to have you guys be the ones to, to defend... If you guys decide to attack, though, I will go on the offensive with these guys because I have the Nazgul here. But, uh, ah, damn it. It's just I can't put you guys the way I want you to. Okay. Right now, though, uh, you guys have gathered around Athlon. Now we're going to be able to get over here. So we'll start sieging the area. Oh, the wall, the gates are open. But I do not, I can't attack with Ganeltan right now. That's okay. I think we'll just keep moving forward here. Because I'll try and have it so that hopefully that spy is able to open the gates again. But yeah, no, you guys keep gathered around over here. Just keep making your way there. And then at the moment right now, more of a Tarth, I might be able to do something over here actually. Like if this force is able to just keep building some men up, then I can have you guys be the ones that go to more of a Tarth. So you guys can try and do that. Keep gathering all these forces around Athlon though. So keep going over there. Those guys are still being sieged right now. 
So make sure all of you guys are moving forward. As long as you guys are, then you're good. Yeah, we're moving. We don't have any extra troops around here, it looks like. Good. Alrighty. Uh, first time we get to fight against Dale in this campaign. Uh, decent army here. Good amount of infantry here. Yeah, they've even got some dwarf and some elven units in here too. Well, let's see how this goes. We should be able to hold this, I believe. Uh, Zagar, I was able to find another boat for him. Uh, didn't have enough movement to be able to set sail to the island this time, though. But, that's okay. He'll be able to make sure that if we lose this territory, he'll make his way back over and reclaim it. But I think we should be able to hold this. This is a castle, right? Or is it a city? I can't remember which one it was specifically, but hey, once we have uh, defeated these guys, then it's a city. Okay, so it's a city set, uh, set up here. So let's back you guys up. Oh, good, they're attacking from this side. I have no... I have one skirmisher, though. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, let's get you up here, you up here. One of you will be on the ground to get them off of their ram. So, Oh, no, I have, another, I have another crossbow. I have two crossbows. So one over on each side. Then I've got a lot of artillery pieces, which... I uh, might be able to get some good angles here. Like ballistas here. Yeah, might be able to get some good angles there. Uh, infantry, let's just get the rest of you guys up on the walls around here to kind of support. So right there. And then get more of you guys up on the walls, turn towers on to break these down. Because as long as the siege towers break, we will be fine. So there we go. You guys up there. Wargs, I'll have you guys back up. I don't think we need to utilize you guys. You can just stay back here. Start the battle. Move this guy forward. Just get you to kind of like stand right there to make sure they drop their ram. And then we should be able to hold them in a bay. Because it's just basically, yeah, they got some good infantry. As long as you guys can get them to drop the ram and we just focus on the ladders, we should be okay. Let's see if this is a deal. Sword Masters. Uh, I missed the Dale campaign. That was a fun campaign. You guys should be able to destroy that before... Uh, it's kind of taking a while to destroy it. Let's try and get you guys a little bit closer. That one's burning. And yeah, they ran off. Please destroy this other one. Yeah, Ram's been dropped. This one's at 42%. Come on. Destroy before they get up on the walls. Oh, that one's taking forever to be destroyed. Come on. They're gonna get a couple guys up on the walls. Blisses are starting to fire over here if you can. Do it before the entire unit gets up on the walls. There we go. So we still lost some guys. Uh, actually, well, I was expecting more guys to get up there accidentally, but no, they didn't. And then, you guys are holding fine here. And because of the location of our crossbow... Oh, we already lost 40% of their army, hell yeah. Yeah, the general's bodyguard died pretty quickly there, too. They lost most of their army almost instantly. Love that. Still, now we'll keep trying to replenish our troops around here. But now we actually have to start fighting Dale. So, I knew eventually... Oh, shit, this actually might mean that then, uh... Ah, uh, the forces of uh, the Veil vale might now attack me. Now that I think about it. That, yep, that could be a possibility. Now that I think about it. Because they, the Dale was uh, at peace with me for a while. And I know the same thing has been true for the Veil. Vale. I can see the Veil vale start attacking us. Let's hope not. They have a lot of guys. They have a lot of troops in their armies. Let's see now the Jones Bodyguard. Oh, except you. Uh, and then let's see. So we're sieged over here. That was, oh, they started again. Oh, fuck you. Oh god, they're just going to continuously end up sieging this area. Yeah, they hit the boat I had here, sadly. Uh, but I can now get Zagar over here. So Zagar can get over here. Honestly, I'll let them siege it again if they want to. That's fine. Uh, I think we're fine waiting for them. And then we're sieged over here once more. I will actually want to try and see if we sally out. I think we could win that if we sally out. Otherwise, we could at least give them an A turn. Because at the moment, you're not in range of the city, so you could technically not help, and they might actually try and attack it. I don't know, we'll have to see about that. But for right now, I think we'll be done for today. Because at this point in time, Athelin is the gate still open. Gate's still open, so I will be able to attack this city next video. And then with that, we have a ridiculous amount of armies around here. I'm not going to trust the auto resolve, seeing as how there's a general's bodyguard in here. So we'll want to fight that ourselves. With how many armies I'm gathered around here, though, I feel like next video we should kill off the Dunedain. Because I know Erluin, you're guaranteed dead. We just need three turns here, six turns here, uh, five turns here. So six turns total, they're dead. Then all of these armies will also push on over and help out with the Dunedain as well. Then we just need to start figuring out that... 
I know their quality's not insane, but like that's a that's still a lot of armies. Um, but hey, I hope we done for right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love what you guys have to say about this campaign. If that's all in general, this is Rampain. I'll see you guys next time. Also, push on over and help out with the Dune Dine as well. And then.